there, my little demons and divas. Bienvenidos. Welcome back to my channel. ¿Qué es la que hay, mi gente? Estamos activados, estamos encendidos. It is I, Isa, aka the Demon Diva, and I have breaking news for you guys. As I am sitting here, right after fasting, it is 11 at night, 11, and I just saw that WWE has tweeted the following. I will share my screen with you guys. You guys can see it right there. It, the tweet says, let me make it bigger for you. It says, WWE has come to terms on the release of Andrade. We wish him all the best on his future endeavors. I am so excited for Andrade. Andrade obviously showed that he was not happy. And you know, this isn't, this isn't the end for him. This isn't the end for him. In addition to that, I'm gonna read you what Andrade, I clicked on the link and it says, hold on. When you click on it, the press release says under, oh, it's just the exact same thing. So that's it, that's it. Now Andrade will go on a 90 day non-compete and then he will be free to go. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and just share my thoughts and opinions. Obviously, I feel like this is a tough one for WWE. I do think that Andrade was a good worker. Um, he was great in the ring. He had personality. He had the looks. And he did have the, manage, like the manager with Selena Vega. And they never did much with him outside when he came up to the main roster. Um, I do think that you could have put him with Charlotte. I think they could have played like that, like power couple. Um kind of thing you could have done a lot with andrade but you didn't and during the pandemic selena vega was really running things with them and then they just let that fall flat and it's sad because they didn't even let them win the tag team championships like and he did have a run i was actually there at madison square garden when he won the u.s title at a house show actually i was there now maybe if i can find my reaction i'll insert it in this video <laughs> But, I mean, it's sad. I guess we should talk about our favorite Andrade matches with WWE. Definitely that match with Gargano is on top of everybody's book. That match was amazing. And it would always be remembered. It would always go down as one of the best matches we've seen in NXT. And I feel like that is just a little bit of what he can do if you put him in the ring with somebody really, really good. So, I hope that Andrade goes and works somewhere where he could be happy. Um, he's really curious about what's next for him. Will he go to like an AEW? I think AEW, I think he will kill it on AEW. But I do think he's more comfortable wrestling in, in, in Mexico and all that, like Lucha Libre style. But now that he's engaged to Charlotte, makes you wonder, will he go back to Mexico? Are you going to stick around? So many unanswered questions. This is breaking news. This just happened. So I guess we just have to wait these 90 days and see. But if I am AEW and Tony Khan, that is somebody that I want to sign. He is on his prime and he he's the full package so listen get on it anyways guys just a quick video just announcing this breaking news until next time adios hi guys it's me from the future i just wanted to say i got a new twitter handle it is at nyc demon diva but there's a number one instead of an i in diva you guys know what happened to my old account so please make sure to go follow it the link is in the description below adios Welcome to the Dina level, body slam you through the rubble. Hosted by your Dina Diva, Queen of Sad Style Lisa. Champions and main events, hot and cold and all your questions. Right here, so tune right in. One, two, three, we got you pinned.